How you guys doing this Saturday morning? The Lakers are finally in the second round um, after dominating the Grizzlies in all aspects. Okay, offensively, defensively, mentally, just body language. They just, they, I haven't seen a complete game from this team um, this whole season, even after the acquisitions and, and, and you know, at the trade deadline. Um, they totally dominated uh, them defensively, you know, with, you know, obviously captained by um, um, AD, you know, with 15 blocks, 14 rebounds, and 16 points in 28 minutes. You know, the guy showed that he is just miles better than Jackson, you know, and he just topped it off with that dunk he, that alley oop dunk he had over him, just, you know, just for the fans. But I mean, we everybody knew this, but he AD was just not reliable enough. He just just wasn't on a hundred or ten every game, you know. But when at his best, AD is the best defensive player in the league, even above Giannis. But you know, obviously, if you want to create a, a, a defensive team around somebody, you you do it around Giannis because he is still a, a elite defensive player. And he is more reliable than AD, so obviously, of course, um, he is the, it's, you know flat out the best defensive player in the league right now, and there's no debate. Um, and offensively, I mean, D'Angelo Russell, I mean, the one and only man. He he, when D'Angelo plays good basketball, the the whole team is the vibe of the whole team is, is it, you know changes, right? Him playing good just changes everything, you know, because of the way he just demoralizes you with his shots, right? The threes and and back to back and his his audacity and confidence just kills the spirit of any opponent, pretty much. And and he did that today against the Grizzlies. They felt they felt that, you know, they just he just suffocated them with you know his threes. And you know, egging on the fans, and just the vibe when DeAndre Russell is playing good basketball is just out this world, man. Um, so yeah, shout out to him. You know, 31 points. I think this is his best. This is his best playoff performance in his whole career. You know, four assists, five threes made out of nine. Um, you know, in 30 minutes. You know, shout out to D'Angelo Russell. He, you know, he showed up when they they really needed him. Um, you know, Reeves, you know, was aggressive as well. You know, 11 points. He played 33 minutes. Again, him being aggressive just helped everybody out and helped, you know, create more space. Um, Rui Hachimura, you know, had one of the best uh, highlights of the game. You know, crossover and then dunk. Ooh, I mean, that you know, he's, you know, he's next level, man. He, you know, he's a good acquisition. Um, and Vanderbilt, you know, defensively and those, you know, those timely threes that just, you know, all this contribute, contributed to, you know, the end product of, of just the aura of this game, of just straight dominance and them being the hunters and just going after the Grizzlies next all, all four quarters. Shout out to Rob Palenka. He did his thing. He did what he was supposed to do and, and you know, give Darvin Ham a team that can compete and give the Laker fans a team that they can rally behind. So, yeah, shout out to him um, for doing what he had to do, you know, to, to get the Lakers to this point in the season. I mean, look, looking at the team, they were, you know, starting 2-10. and 10, You know, everybody's saying it, but I just have to reiterate, you know, starting 2-10, and 10, and 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 the team now just compared they're just two different teams the vibe the way they play you know offensively defensively the way they compete is just on two different levels man so you know again you know shout out to Darby Ham and Palenka for making this happen Lakers shot 53% from the field and kept Grizzlies at a 30% clip you know that that is how you win basketball games. You know they killed them in the paint. They 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 made sure the the the, the Grizzlies earned every point they they had at the paint. You know Darvin Ham. You know actually adjusted, made adjustments, and and you know out coach and Taylor Jenkins. And you know in this uh, 
in this game six in this must win game six you know he got a lot of uh, criticism for you know how he uses timeouts and how he made games play out but you know you've got to look at where he came from and he was under Bolden, uh, Bolden Hoser who plays a similar you know who you know coaches a similar way so but he, but he showed out. He, you know, he called timeouts at, you know, at the right time. You know, stop runs. He, whenever the Grizzlies were going up or had anything going, he made sure, you know, timeout stop. You know, and and you know, let's make some adjustments. So shout out to Darvin Ham. You guys give him his flowers. You know, since you criticized him when you know he didn't do good. So shout out to him. The Grizzlies, the Grizzlies are. Look, they're still a top team. Okay. But the Grizzlies, they were shorthanded, obviously losing Steven Adams, losing Clarkson, and, and losing um, um, Kennard in this game. You know, all that contributed to them just not feeling complete, them, them just not feeling like a well-oiled machine. Um, you know, on top of that, the Dylan Brooks antics didn't help either, put, put a lot of pressure on him, so he didn't perform. You know, being one of the best perimeter defenders in in the league, that did not play any role whatsoever, um, in in most games this season. So, yeah, you know, hopefully they're running back. They figure it out. You know, they have Ja and uh, Jackson, and and you know, those those are like all time good, all time five star players. So you know, they they will make it work, but. Um, yeah, a lot of things can just go right for them. Hope them well. Lakers play on Tuesday with the winner of the Kings Warriors series. Um, whoever wins that is gonna have just a day of rest going into Tuesday. So Lakers should definitely take advantage of that. Um, the Lakers are better defensively than both of those teams. So you know, I think I think they can fare well. And then you know. Even though it's, it's still gonna be a dogfight, though, because offensively, those, you know, both of those teams are just slightly better than the Lakers, but defensively, the Lakers are way better than those teams. So, you know, they can use that as, to their advantage and, you know, make this, you know, hopefully, make this a fight, man. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good series. It's gonna be a good series in the second round. Um, you know, again, you know, shout out to this team. This, you know, they showed out. They showed up and showed out in in the must win because you know in the must win in this game six because going back to Gris uh, to Memphis would have I don't think it would have been good news for them. So yeah, you know, shout out to the Lakers, shout out to Darvin Ham, shout out to Rob Palenka, and shout out to you know the fans of the crypto for making this an experience. I do believe this team is a championship team. I do believe that they played an elite level of basketball for the first time and this is the first time and, and you know and I, I believe they do um, have that DNA in them I don't mean to exaggerate but yeah thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know what you think LeBron the only player that's played uh, this meant this much in year 20 of the playoffs is Kareem and just wondered and you know at the, the level that he was then how are you able to put this together to respond to game five uh, where did that start mentally and then when did, when did you start to feel that swell with your teammates as well on the court tonight um I, probably when we landed back in la after game five uh you know the whole thing in my mind was how much rest i can get um you know going you know from that from that game four where we you know we expended a lot of energy in that game and then had to leave the very next morning and you know trying to bounce back to game five uh, it was just, it, it was tough on uh, our whole ball club, including myself. And uh, from the moment that we landed um, here after game five, uh, all I was thinking about was just trying to sleep as much as I could, rest as much as I could, make sure my body was, uh, get my, my treatment and my rehab and things of that nature, but staying off my feet as much as possible coming into tonight. And um, felt pretty good when I woke up this morning. Uh, I felt excellent, actually, this morning. and reason I was here so early too um, but you know it was a good bounce back for us a uh, big time game for us and uh, you know we fed off our fans once again and you know it's, it's great for us to be able to give back to them like they gave to us tonight. If we could keep our questions to one please so I can try and get as many people 
questions as possible, that would be